Hello everybody and welcome back to another interesting video. Now things really starts getting interesting when we start mixing multiple components. So for example, RL or RC or RLC. So when we start mixing all these components, the situation of current and voltage and even power in the circuit really, really gets interesting. And firstly, we will understand AC through RL circuit in today's video. And in this video, we'll be discussing about a lot of things. So first we'll start with voltage and current in RL circuit, the total voltage and current. Then we'll start with voltage and current across only resistance in RL circuit. And then we'll understand the voltage and current across only inductor in RL circuit. Once that is clear, then we'll talk about the power situation in RL circuit. And in the end, we'll discuss about what is an impedance triangle, which is an important term if you are into AC circuit analysis. So the video is really going to be interesting and do watch the complete video for all the details. So now let us first start with voltage and current in RL circuit. So here we have a simple RL circuit. You can see we have connected a an AC supply to resistor and inductor. So the V, the V is what V is the RMS value of the applied voltage. That is the RMS value. 10 volt is what we have given. I is the RMS current that is flowing through the circuit and it's a total circuit current. So it is not related to resistor or an inductor, but it's a total circuit current. So here we have a resistor connected in a series here and there will be some voltage drop that is happening across it and we, we labeled it as VR and VR is what? It's nothing but IR. It's the IR drop that is happening across the resistance. Similarly, we also have an inductor here, which is 10 milli Henry and there will be voltage drop happening across inductor as well. So that is we labeled as VL and VL is what VL we can uh, that is nothing but I into XL. Now, what is XL? We discussed this about in the previous uh, lectures. XL is inductive reactance, right? And how we can identify inductive reactance? The formula is XL is equals to 2 pi FL. Now F is what? F is the frequency. So we will consider it is 50 Hertz and L is the inductance that is given. So it is given as 10 milli Henry, right? So let us calculate XL here. So 2 into pi times the frequency, which is 50 Hertz into the inductance. Now it is given in milli Henry. We have to convert it into Henry. So 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 and the XL that is we are going to get as 3.141 ohms, right? We measure it in ohm just like resistance so that is the xl for this inductor now you have to understand that the resistance do not depend upon frequency it is simply going to oppose the flow of electrons but the value of inductive reactance xl depends upon the frequency so it will be different for 50 hertz and it will be different for 60 hertz case so just take a note of that. Now uh, with this diagram, let us understand the phasor diagram here and which is really interesting. So we know that now what we will do, we will take current as a reference. So I have drawn uh, the current phasor here. Now in the resistive circuit, we know that current and voltage are perfectly in phase with each other. And as a result, the voltage drop that is happening across the resistance will also be in phase with resistance. So that is why we have shown we are perfectly in phase with current circuit current. Now talking about the inductor. Now inductor, we know that voltage leads the current by 90 degree, right? So definitely the voltage drop that is happening across this inductor will also be out of phase with current by 90 degree. So right, this is the 90 degree opposition. Now the total voltage V, V is what V will be nothing but the summation of VR and the current that will be flowing through this circuit. And plus we also have the impedance here. So using this phasor diagram, we can identify a few things. So if you apply a Pythagoras theorem here, so we'll get V is equals to VR square plus VL square, right? Now VR, VL value we know, uh, we have seen it few minutes back also. So VR is what? VR is nothing but I into R square and VL square is I into XL square, right? So if you simplify this equation further, we'll get I is equals to, uh, sorry, V is equals to I times R square plus XL square. 
Now this is an important equation that we have identified here. So V is what V is the total RMS value of the uh, voltage that we have applied. I is the RMS value of current flowing through the circuit, total current uh, we are talking. And what will be this I R square per plus XL square? It is nothing but the total opposition that is being offered to the flow of electrons in this particular circuit. And the total opposition, what we call it, we call it as impedance. And it is given by square root of R square plus XL square. So definitely you see there are two oppositions that is being offered in the circuit to resist uh, current. One is the resistance and the another one is inductor. So we will need a comprehensive turn which can give us the, uh, you know, opposition offered by both these things. And that term is impedance and denoted by letter Z and it is also measured in ohms. We also have, we have already discussed about this in the previous videos. Now it is, uh, now you can simply what you can do, you can put V is equals to I times Z and this becomes the ohms law for AC circuit and this ohms law for AC circuit is more comprehensive than the ohms law that we have seen in the DC circuits because this uh, ohms law for AC circuit is covering all the opposition that is being offered to the current. It covers all the resistance, it covers all the type of reactance that is inductive reactance or capacitive reactance. So it is more comprehensive than the ohms law that we have seen in the DC circuits. Now with this we can identify the current that is flowing through the circuit. So how we can do it? It is pretty simple. So I is equals to V divided by Z. So vo voltage is what? It's 10 volt. An inductor, if we have to find out, we can use this simple formula and we can do it. So R is what? R is 5, so 5 square plus XL is 3.141 and square. So the resultant uh, value of uh, impedance would be 5.904 and this is the ohms, it will come into the ohms. So now to identify the current, simply divide voltage with the impedance 904 and the current will be 1.693 ampere. So this will be the current flowing through the system. So this is the total current. So we have total current that is flowing through the system that is 1.693 ampere. We have the applied voltage that is 10 volts. Now the important part is what will be the phase difference between voltage and current that we need to identify. And that we can identify again using the phasor diagram that you can see on your screen. So definitely this uh, angle between a voltage drop across the inductor and the current would be 90 degree. And this is the angle. This angle phi is the angle between the circuit total current and the applied voltage. And this we need to identify, right?